today we're going to talk about from one of the Today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite tips and tricks for writing commit messages. I like to put an emoji at the beginning of every single commit message, a lipstick for a style change, a track for moving files, a speech bubble for a type change, sparkles for new feature. Now this might sound cute, but I really do have a purpose. I'm very much a visual person, and so at a glance, I can immediately tell what type of change was made. I didn't just make these up. There's actually a project online called Gitmoji, where it lists out almost every single type of commit that you could possibly make and pairs it with an emoji. I'll show you. If you're new to Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. If you're just looking at getting into this space, sometimes it's hard to know where to start or what resources to trust. I want to help you level up and get to where you want to be. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button below. Git is a big part of development because it's one way that developers are able to work together. If you're not sure what Git is, how to use it, why to use it, how to install it on your computer, check out some of the other videos in my series. Link in the card above. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. As I mentioned in the intro, there's a project called Get Emoji that lists out almost every single type of commit that you might possibly make with a corresponding emoji. I have a little program called Rocket that makes injecting emojis similar to Slack. I just hit colon and then can start searching for the emoji I want to include and then just hit enter. This is perfect if I'm using Tower or VS Code's Git tools, but this gets a little bit more complicated when you're talking about the terminal. Get Emoji has a command line tool. If you go over to their website and then click on GitHub, it will tell you to run this little line inside your terminal. Copy and paste that into the terminal and then let it do its thing. Then if you're in a repo, stage the changes, run gitmoji c, which will give you an interactive prompt to make a commit message. You can see it says choose the emoji and you can use the arrow keys to cycle through which emoji you want to use or you can type to search for the option you're looking for. Then when you found what you're looking for, hit enter. Next, it'll ask you to provide a title. I'm gonna put updated blog post. Enter. If you want to provide a more detailed description, you can add more text here. I'm gonna leave it blank and hit enter again. Nice and easy. If you like this video and wanna see more videos on web design and development, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell icon if you wanna receive notifications when new videos are posted. Until then, keep coding.